Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Blue Origin discloses NS23 findings. Comp Air 6.2 to be displayed at Sun and Fun 2023. Don't miss tomorrow's SNF Innovation Preview. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Our special event coverage this week from Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida is made possible by our generous sponsors, including Dyer Aircraft. Be sure to stop by Dyer's booth at Sun and Fun to see the incredible TBM 960 and the ultimate getaway vehicle, Kodiak 900. Now let's get into today's stories. Blue Origin discloses MS-23 findings. Blue Origin's crew-rated suborbital launch vehicle dealt with a mission-ending anomaly during NS-23, an unmanned flight of Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket on the morning of September 12, 2022. No lives were lost in the incident, and both Blue Origin and New Shepard, within the context of spaceflight malfunctions, acquitted themselves honorably. Blue Origin has made public the findings of the NS-23 investigation. The direct cause of the NS-23 mishap was a thermostructural failure of the engine nozzle. The resulting thrust misalignment properly triggered the crew capsule escape system, which functioned as designed throughout the flight. The crew capsule and all payloads on board landed safely and will be flown again. All systems designed to protect public safety function as planned. There were no injuries. There was no damage to ground-based systems, and all debris was recovered in the designated hazard area. Blue Origin expects to return to flight soon with a reflight of the NS-23 payloads. The NS-23 mishap resulted in the loss of NS Propulsion Module Tail 3. The crew capsule escape system worked as designed, bringing the capsule and its payloads to a safe landing at Launch Site 1, with the capsule incurring no damage. And after the break, Hartzell has a busy week ahead at Sun and Fun. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Hartzell has a busy week ahead at Sun and Fun. Hartzell will be out in force at this week's Sun and Fun with each arm of the company making an appearance, engine tech, aerospace welding, and propellers. The propeller branch will have their full lineup on display with their two-blade American Champion, X-Cub, and three-blade bands props on hand. The Engine Tech branch will also be on hand to show off its collection of products from the SkyTech, Plane Power, Fuelcraft, Aeroforce, and Janitrol brands. Hartzell's Quality Aircraft Accessories will announce the reopening of its South Florida repair station. Dine-In and Airmate extend attractive Sun and Fun offers. Airmate, the electronic flight bag provider with north of 200,000 users worldwide, now provides its proven aviation data for U.S. operators of Dynan, Skyview, primary flight displays, and supplemental aircraft cockpit architectures. 
Airmate and Dynanavionics have started a partnership by dint of which U.S.-based Skyview operators may access Airmate's comprehensive and updated aviation data for $49.90 per year. Last check, World War II RAF pilot passes on. General Emil Bocek, the last living Czech pilot who fought Hitler's Third Reich during the Second World War while serving with Britain's Royal Air Force, has, after a long and distinguished life, gone to his eternal reward at age 100. A community center for war veterans in the Czech city of Brno, General Bocek's hometown, reported the storied aviator had passed away on Saturday, March 25th. The Czech Defense Ministry confirmed General Bocek's death. Slovakia delivers MiG-29s to Ukraine. One week after Polish President Andrzej Duda announced Warsaw would provide Ukraine approximately one dozen Russian-made MiG-29 fighter jets, Slovakian Defense Minister Jaroslav Nad announced his nation had handed over four of nine MiG-29s recently promised to Kiev. Mr. Nad set forth, quote, Slovakia is on the right side, and with this gesture, we as a country have written ourselves in capital letters in modern world history, which speak of timely help, sincere solidarity, and the greatness of the nation, end quote. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Comp Air 6.2 to be displayed at Sun and Fun. Comp Air Aviation plans to display its Comp Air 6.2 at booth MD7B of Lakeland, Florida's Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo 2023. A great deal of progress has been made on the Comp Air 6.2 since Sun and Fun 2022, when the model was introduced as little more than a fuselage and some big promises. Development of the aircraft has continued over the past year, and the 6.2 is mere days away from landing in Lakeland and making its first public appearance. The display aircraft is powered by a 350-horsepower twin-turbo Lycoming engine mated to a Hartzell Composite top prop. The Comp Air 6.2's formidable powertrain and 100-gallon fuel capacity will move a 2,000-pound useful load 840 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 175 knots. What's more, the aircraft's 22-cubic-foot baggage compartment ensures pilots and passengers arrive at their destinations with more than just the clothes on their backs. Aircraft enthusiasts looking for even more power, performance, and payload will rejoice in the knowledge that a 650-horsepower turbine power plant option is available for the Comp Air 6.2. The turbine mill increases the machine's useful load to over 3,500 pounds and cruise speed to a crisp 230 knots. The complete airframe kit for which builder assist options are available retails for $327,000. And after these messages, don't miss tomorrow's Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. It's toxic to fly hypoxic. Smart pilots want their oxygen close at hand, so they're never impaired. That's why Aerox is proud to introduce the Boomula, the first headset-mounted oxygen-conserving cannula designed to make hypoxia impairment obsolete. The Boomula easily attaches to any headset and can be used with almost any portable or installed oxygen system. Find the Boomula at leading Aerox distributors or at Aerox.com. Vantage is Avidyne's family of all-new flight display systems for retrofit and forward-fit applications. Initial certification will be Vantage 12, retrofit glass for legacy Cirrus aircraft. Vantage 12 brings advanced capabilities and adds new life to Cirrus aircraft, including large 12-inch diagonal hybrid touchscreen displays, 3D synthetic vision, and split-screen capabilities. Additional Vantage programs will be announced in the future. Welcome back. Don't miss tomorrow's Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. We have a very big day tomorrow in our partnership with the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo. Tuesday morning, March 28th, we will present the massive Sun and Fun Innovation Preview, which will be broadcast live at 10.30 ET at airborne-live.net. The over 25 confirmed presenters include SNF Aerospace Expo, Field and Aero Aeropup USA, AirTech Inc., Bose, Airplane Services, Aeromarine LSA, Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation, Cub Crafters, Rotax, Hartzell Propeller, Aero Leds, Waco Aircraft, Comp Air Aviation, King Schools, NAFI, Dyer, Diamond Aircraft, Ace SNF, Esport Plane Resource Guide, Extra Aircraft, Lightspeed Aviation, 
Super Petrol USA, Aerox, UAvionics, US Sport Planes, and Ithra Aviation. The SNFDD crew will continue the very popular live morning brief series with a live webcast early each morning of the expo at 0900, featuring news, weather, special attractions, and interviews specific to that day's festivities. This program sets the day's agenda, webcast live from the Compass Rose in the center of the expo, and remains the best way to get a start on each day's activities. And later, the award-winning AeroNews Airborne Unlimited team will also wrap up each day with a long-form, expertly produced video news program featuring some of the most exciting stories of the day. And all week during the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo, Airborne Unlimited will be dedicated to the wonders of Lakeland and Sun and Fun. The staff of the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo and the Sun and Fun Digital Daily invite exhibitors and participants in this year's event to submit story ideas and suggestions for the SNFDD news team for possible publication. Just send your suggestion to info at snfdd.com. Stay up to date with everything going on at snfdd.com and watch all our live programming at airborne-live.net. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks again to Dyer for making our coverage of Sun and Fun 2023 possible, and thank you for watching.